Hey everybody, it's your guest reviewer JB here for Catsynth TV. Today we're going to be taking a look at the book Angels and Demons That Play by Paul Sears. Before we get started on that, I want to ask you to please subscribe to this channel for more cultural content coming out regularly. And please consider underwriting the efforts. There are links to Patreon and Ko-Fi right there below. You see it? Go ahead and click it. You know what I mean? And please, you know, give us a little thumbs up if you enjoy this. You know, share it out with your friends. Let people know about this stuff. Let's dive right into this, man. Paul Sears, drummer, composer, all around a wonderful human being, you know. Uh, this is a memoir that he wrote called Angels and Demons That Play. The title there kind of riffing on the Sun Ra composition, of course, Angels and Demons at Play. If you don't know the Sun Ra tune, just check it out, you know what I mean? It, it's totally worth your time. In any case, Angels and Demons That Play, this is sort of a memoir, a number of Interesting reminiscences, a kind of a lot of observations by Paul. Paul probably most widely known for his work as the drummer for the band The Muffins, uh, sort of an East Coast American United States version of uh, the Canterbury Sound, for lack of a better term, uh, sort of a jazz rock kind of fusion thing. If you don't know what I'm talking about there, do yourself a favor and educate yourself. This is some fantastic music, not only The Muffins, but uh, Paul, Paul's other band, uh, Chainsaw Jazz, and numerous other examples. This is a fascinating book. I mean, it's, it's enjoyable, uh, especially for people who like that kind of intersection of all of these kind of disparate areas of art and music. Uh, you know, it talks about his kind of coming up in the late 60s through the early 70s and so forth uh, in the East Coast American music scene, you know, coming into contact with a lot of disparate people such as, you know, Fred Frith makes an appearance here. Of course, the, the legendary Giorgio Gomelsky. Uh, if you don't know who Gomelsky is, oh man, this is another person you get to look up. Just fantastic, fascinating character perhaps a charlatan of sorts, or perhaps a Svengali, who knows? You know, one of these amazing characters that had his finger in a number of, of different things. Paul's book, uh, really interesting way that it's done in the fact that, you know, Paul wrote the bulk of it, but occasionally you get these uh, contributions from uh, some of the people who are referenced in the book, and they write, you know, Paul will write, oh, this happened, this happened, this happened, and then he said, you know, kind of passes the baton to another person who was mentioned in there, and they'll have their account, and again, it's that, you know, uh, it's that Rashomon effect, you know what I mean? It's like, okay, this is, this is how I remember it. It's like, oh, I remember it kind of slightly different, and it's like, you know, it's fascinating to get these sort of complementary, I guess, takes on the same events. Uh, Let's take a look at the book right here. Fantastic book. You can see here there's illustrations by Nick Prohl throughout. The kind of interspersing of these illustrations reminded me a bit at times. Remember the, uh, the real Frank Zappa book? You remember that book that came out in the, uh, I guess it was the early 90s that that came out. It had the illustrations in there. Uh, same kind of thing, uh, perhaps influence that, perhaps not. You know, we see here some chapter headings of various people. You know, here's a section on Gomelsky and the Zoo Festival. Here's a chapter here on the lovely and wonderful Deb Sears, who we all know from her radio show, The Prog Rock Diner, and so forth. Wonderful book fantastically written, entertaining. Uh, what makes it even better is if you order this book directly from the publisher, let's take a look right here. There's a CD included with uh, some compositions, some musical excerpts from different bands that are mentioned in there. Makes it a total aid, you know, because as big a fan of Paul's as I am, I don't know his whole oeuvre. Let's put it that way. And it helps to be able to hear some of these other bands. And so you get a more well-rounded audio picture 
of the guy. And it's just, like I said, I can't say enough good things about this book. I, I got it. I read about a quarter of it in one sitting, just like picking it up and then, you know, just finished it off this past week. And it's amazing. Really well done. Thumbs up. Okay, so just to recap, we've been looking at Angels and Demons That Play, book by Paul Sears, some illustrations by Nick Prohl, and a CD here in the back with some musical excerpts to listen to. Check it out. To find out more about Angels and Demons That Play by Paul Sears, including how to purchase, please visit these websites and check out the description below this video. Thanks for watching, and please subscribe to CatSynth TV. Hey man, you're watching CatSynth TV!